welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. How was your journey? Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yes. So you are yeah. welcome to our family. Thank you, sir. This year you put you go to do for the for the field something and go pick the card. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I will have to test your sir. You put it too close like I said. Yes, yes. Yes. Like I said, the farm must be high, you know, yes. for the roofing uh, yes. Yes. Okay. You have a wetland here? Yeah. Yeah, temperature is low. It's okay. Check, check for hurts. Yeah, is there any question you want to ask? Now I'm here to build a farm in uh, Apata Ibadan. Am I right? Yes, yes. Apata Ibadan. Yes. Now, before we kick start, you might be having some doubt or some questions to ask. Let me put you through so that you understand better. Okay, okay, sir. Um, we've been hearing about this snail farm for a long period, and we've actually had plans towards it, but the know how was what we didn't really we checked online, but we didn't get that practical know how or how, of how it functions. So, like, we need to, like, yeah, daddy, I'm going to release another truth. I always call it bitter truth. Bitter truth is some information that people retain. I want to throw another bitter truth. Okay. Part four. Okay. Now, when we talk about snake farming in general, yeah. in Africa, we have this mentality of farming snail with the notion that we want to sell the meat. Okay. That mentality of, ah, how, how, when, do I, when do my fans start yielding, that I will start selling, when will they get mature? No, no. that is not the actual truth. Okay. Selling the snail meat is secondary. Okay. Selling the snail meat is secondary okay. from snail farming. Okay. It is Africa here, yeah, we are talking about the meat. Fine, that is addition, but secondary. The primary reason why we farm snails are, is just for the slime. the slime. The snail slime is expensive than gold. Smart. Yes, the slime is more expensive than gold. So when will you start making money from your farm? Instantly exactly. when your snail arrives. Okay. You start extracting. The slime. You the extract slime, slime okay. from the snail okay. every day. Experience like you, daddy, no matter the money you have, sure. if you retire, staying at home is kumba, so you know that. Yes. You just be staying at home, even if you have other small, small business, you just feel like, do that normal walking that you used to do when you were young, when you were working. Now, in the farm, the farm activity alone can occupy you. Is it? Yes, you have to have the equipment, you extract your slime, you bottle it. SNT is a buyer of snail slime. Yes, we are buyers, don't worry. We will buy your snail slime. You alone cannot provide what the international body needs. Okay. So, we set up farms. That's why I always say that this is, you are, you are building an oil well. You are building your oil well, individual oil well. Right now, if you see oil in Nigeria, it's for the government, right? Sure, sure. Now you are building an oil well where you will be extracting okay. snail slime every day. The funniest part of it is this. Immediately you pack some set of snail that you are going to extract right, yes. for today. Yeah. Let's say 50, 100, 200, depends on the scope of your farm. Sure. Now you extract those ones. If it is 10, 50 mil you could have that day, you return that snail back to the farm. That snail will not die. Yeah. To regenerate. To regenerate another slime in them. Tomorrow, you pick another batch. So what you do is, you have a little kind of a, 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 a pen, either wooden or basket. You pick like, you are extracting slime for five days. You pick snails and feed the basket for five days. This is extraction on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. When you finish everything, remember, when you finish Monday, you return to the farm. Tuesday is waiting. Because if you miss it there, you might, you might pick those ones again okay. when you want to pick. Okay. 
Now, Tuesday, you extract. Sure. Wednesday, you extract. When you finish till Saturday, you put all of them in the fire. Give yourself one week. Again. Go back again and repeat, repeat the, same, the thing. same thing. You realize that these things that you return back will regenerate themselves. And you do the same process again, accumulating slime, and you are selling. Now, those things that you put back, mm -hmm. you are building a warehouse, a refinery. Yes. Yes, this is a refinery. Because that is where you keep them. Okay. If you put them in all those, uh, like people that does wood. Wood, quack. Quack, all those wood, mm -hmm. put snakes there. And listen, I always said to myself that these people are doing get together. I put a put the, the, this in, pen and snail in the tire, yeah. put in the drum. Mm -hmm. They don't really know the real meaning of snail farming. Mm -hmm. Snail farming is highly lucrative. I don't tell people that it will make me laugh, but that is, there is million in snail farming. You can make a research and check how much they sell snail slime. Mm -hmm. When we take that snail slime, we convert that snail slime into powder and sell to a pharmaceutical company and production uh, cosmetics company. They buy this thing far more than gold. Like One liter of snake slime, that you can check it. So this is what you are to produce. The buyer, don't be scared. We are buyers. Okay. So what we are trying to do now, SRT is now a collection center of snail worldwide. Hmm? In Africa as a whole. So we pick from you. We pick for the next farm. Fine. We pick for the next farm. We pick for the next farm. That you give me five uh, 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 liter. You give me five liter. You give me five liter. It becomes... A, a big uh, 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 volume that you can take out. Now, I'm here to advise. You see, you either come in as a mediator, you come in as the end product, or you come in as a distributor. If you are not farming, this message is for those that are in the diaspora. If you are in uh, Asia, you are in Germany, you are in US, you are in UK, Israel, any country you are, check there. You will realize that you know, Africa is underdeveloped. Sure. Good. They are developed countries. They are using this product to produce something very tangible. So they are looking for this product. And Africa owns the biggest yeah. snail in the world. Yes. No dispute about that. Yeah. Now, but we have not discovered this oil well. We have not discovered this mineral. Now we are discovering it now. They will not be buying from us. Even if they did not come, you as a Nigeria, you as a Ghanaian, you as a, a, a Cameroonian, you know, African person who is in the diaspora, you can get the market there. Yeah. When you get the market, you call s and s and please, I want you to weigh me slime or so, so so quantity. When I give it to you, you pick it and you sell to the, the buyers. You are standing as a what? As a mediator between the Africa company, which is s and who collect from other farmers and to the, the companies that are producing, which are the, the, the cosmetics or the uh, pharmaceutical companies. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. You are serving as a mediator. Even if you are in the diaspora there, whichever country you are, you are not even doing any other thing. Okay. All you own is to get the business for s and Yes, A and B. Get the business for them. You are in one place. You are doing your job. You are doing whatever. It's just to press your system and get this product yes. and sell. Yes. You are doing business and you make good money. Good. Are you getting me? Now, if you are not farming it, you go in buy from these people. But the logic is this. All s and snail farmers, okay. clients, will be certified. Okay. You, just, you can't just come from anywhere. I don't know how you, you do your farm, whether it's organic or not. You just want to sell me your slime. You don't understand. Yeah. I will buy from you. I will not buy from you. I'm going to buy from all students who I know that I trained on how to farm it in a particular way. Because the companies that are buying it will give us their specimen. Sure. Yeah. Are you getting me? This is what specimen will need. Mm. And your slime must meet that specimen. So in the specification, God bless you. Just like Coco. Exactly. So we will not supply to these people. So in, in general, when we say snail farming, it sounds like too dull. Daddy, you are building a refinery. This is snail refinery where you'll be extracting oil. Yeah. And that oil is called snail slime. When you sell that, you make money. Now the question is, when will this your company fail? Every day the snails are producing. The snails are producing. At a point, your, your farm will be filled up. You sell off the big ones. Allow the younger ones to grow. Mm. Because you cannot sell off all the old farm. No. Because that is the, 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 the oil. You understand me? So the big ones go. So when it gets to a year, one and a half year, you will not sell off the meat. 
and get your money. After, after oh yeah, after oh yeah, yes, you now go back to meat. You understand? So the meat is secondary. What the meat brings is far low to oil. Yeah. Man, so we rest assured that this is a factory you are about to build. So if you have one plot, you have two plot, you have three plot, you have twelve plot, my brother, I invest. A time is coming, everybody that travels out will come back home. Yeah. When you come back home, you have not planted, you have not sown in your father's land, you will be looking for my brother. Nothing, <laughs> nothing to turn to. You see, I always classify those that in the diaspora like tomatoes. When you put a fresh tomatoes in the fridge, it's always calm, fresh. fresh. But immediately they see light. That's the end. That's the end of it. Immediately they see light, you are no longer fresh. Mm. So continue to be fresh and get more fridge. So that immediately the seeds that you transfer continue to be fresh. fresh. If you have one source of fridge and the seeds light, when I say the seeds light, you know, fund is up and on, you understand? Yeah. Immediately the seeds light, your tomato sweet. Come down. So better have more fridge to duplicate your freshness. Okay. So another question I would like to ask. Um, what about the production? Would they produce? Maybe lay eggs? Wow. They mm. multiply so, like mad. Uh -huh. In abundance. They multiply. Okay. Their multiplication aspect of it is wonderful. Okay. They reproduce. Okay. Now we stock, this is a plot, we are stocking 2,000. Good, 2,000. Now when we talk about 2,000, so people will tell you 10,000, put 20,000. No, there's a difference between stocking density and capacity. Yeah. How many capacity can this place take? Okay. It's far different from how many snail you are going to stock. The stocking is the breeders. The breeders are the ones to reproduce what will make up this whole place. So it is the breeders who takes the density and the one to produce the capacity. Yeah. Okay. Are you getting me? Yes. So you don't need to buy and fill up everywhere. If you fill up everywhere, you have not created a room. For the babies who are coming, coming. to yeah. take space. As you understand? Good. And when they are shocked, it leads to cannibalism. Yeah. Cannibalism, you'll be seeing death every time. Yeah. Are you getting me? So be rest assured. I will advise everybody that has space in their farm, in their compound, anywhere you have a land. Instead of all these things growing and just be every day you send people to go and cut your, your land in Nigeria. Go and cut it. They will call you. Sir, your, your company is bushy, you come and cut, you are cut. Why not? Use do that something. to do something. Okay. Even if it's a plant, vegetation, or whatever, at least, let something is coming out. We are in the era of agriculture. Yes, those time of carrying hoe and be as gone. I remain engineer theocracy, your humble, as shot in the culturist.